More locals are taking up classes to become certified as confinement nannies here in Singapore. Now, the trend comes as a rising number of new mums well, they are turning to such qualified help to care for themselves and their infants after giving birth. Kelly Wong tells us more. She's hired just to take care of the infant and its mom. Whether it's feeding or burping, it appears more are turning to trained confinement nannies for extra help. These services cost an average two to three thousand dollars a month across the industry. But it isn't stopping demand, which has grown 20 percent annually for one company since it started four years ago. They can have another option, which is hiring a maid. But however, you need somebody who has experience in handling a newborn. It's different from handling a baby or a toddler. That's why the firm has 10 days of in-house training for their nannies. Across Singapore, there's been a rising demand for professional expertise in the field. From bathing newborns to cooking food for recovering mothers, customized courses that train qualified nannies have proven a hit, especially among older Singaporean women. They can get to use government schemes like SkillsFuture to cover at least 80% of course fees. KK Women's and Children's Hospital and Thompson Medical Center have tied up with the Society for Wings, a non-profit, to conduct these classes. Wings said it has seen double the intake over the last decade and wants to partner a third hospital to meet demand. They are taking these courses mainly for themselves, so to uh, kind of enrich their, their, um, uh, their learning skills and how they could tackle their own uh, maybe grandchildren. Most women um, at the age of 50 and above, in the 60s in particular, they would have uh, family members or even their own daughters who, are going, who need to go through confinement uh, you know, as the years go by. But for mothers who want more luxury, they can stay at this wellness hub that's opening next month and be cared for by nannies who are trained nurses. The refurbished former government office will have hotel-like rooms and facilities like a spa and salon. But finding a right location was not easy. The challenges Singapore faces is very different from countries like Taiwan, Korea and China. Uh, we are in a land scarce uh, country. Um, in order for the site to work well, uh, we also need to have central yet quiet. We need uh, to have certain size and yet we also need to be close to hospitals. A six-month package with things like infant care classes and a seven-day stay comes at a cost of around $12,000. It's a price many might be willing to pay. Large families, you know, tend to be you know, a little bit, you know, more of the anomaly now. So young parents and grandparents as well invest a lot more in childbirth and raising the child. So um, I think that whenever parents feel that a service can be purchased within their means that would add value to their life, uh, they would do it. She added that confinement services are here to stay and will have to keep up as expectations rise with new generations.